begin with some questions. My first question is, who loves you most in this world? Answer. There is only one answer, no doubt about that, there is only one answer, that is mother. So it's your mother, it's my mother who loves us most. And uh, proceeding to the next question, and uh, what role does she have at home? So she has to perform different roles at home. And what are those roles? Can you list them? Uncountable, is it not? She is the mother, she is the wife. She is the daughter and she is your nurse and goes on, goes on. We cannot count it. So much responsibilities and duties are there for your mother at home. And at the same time, do you think that she is aware of her responsibilities? Do you think that she is always concerned with you and your activities? After plus two, you will be going to different hostels. And you may be happy at the hostel, but can you think the same to be for your mother also and she will be thinking about you whether you are getting good food and whether you are being treated in a good manner by the authorities of the hostel it goes on goes on so let us come back so there is a poem for you that is any woman and i think all of you have read that poem it's very simple very simple and we know if the heroine is the mother so that is the reason why it is so simple because the heroine is the person whom you know most. So need no need of any description. So it's the heroine is actually your mother. And the poem presents the multifaceted role of a mother at home. She has to perform different types of roles. That is what this poem is presenting. And her all embracing power to hold the family to. And she is the axis around which the whole family is constructed. It moves around her. So these are the things that uh, Catherine Tainan presents in the poem, Any Woman. Let us go for an analysis of the poem. Here, the speaker, who is a mother, talks about her duties, responsibilities, strengths and concerns inside the house. She begins the poem by describing the indispensable position of a woman in a family. She is everything in the house. Rather, she is the house itself. She is the source of energy for others in the home. The fire, heat and warmth to activate others originate from her. This is what the second stanza tells us. The third stanza highlights how the children are fully dependent on the mother. Without her, they are helpless and aimless. Love is the most powerful weapon for a mother. The fourth stanza describes how she brings up and control her children through love and care. In stanza 5, the speaker illustrates her essential presence in the house for the smooth flow of life. Every activity in the house should be attended by her. The concluding stanza of the poem presents the mother as a wall against all dangers to the children. At the same time, it also portrays her anxious mind that pleads to God to let her live in this world till her children are able to stand on their own. The poem unmistakably portrays the relationship between a mother and a child. As we discussed earlier, just presents the pivotal role of a mother in a home. So we know she is the sun and we people are the planets and satellites. So talking about the technical feature of the poem, we can see this that uh, this poem is written in the form of a dramatic monologue. What is this dramatic monologue? So it's a form of poem where a person is speaking, 
his thoughts and feelings to an audience. So this is an imagined speech. So here the mother is the speaker and we are the audience. And another feature of this poem is that this poem is created with a chain of metaphors, comparisons. I am the pillar, I am the heat, I am the warmth and like this the comparisons go on. So all these comparisons are used to highlight the maternal love. The poem raises certain questions regarding the state of women in our society. So we can see the poem presents how hard, how difficult is the life of a mother or a woman in an ordinary family in our present society. So the question is, is it a welcome thing to make your mother, make the woman shoulder all the responsibilities of the home? Should she carry out all the works and you should be passive listeners enjoying the fruits of her hard work? And is there any solution for this situation? And when you talk about the solution, definitely sharing is the most important one we need. You have to share the mother's Difficulty can be reduced to a great extent by sharing. Your husband, the husband of the wife should share. The children of the mother should share the duties and responsibilities. Give a helping hand to your mother in the home and that will make the home so beautiful than ever. And so your mother loves you too much. And what can you give her in return? We know definitely mother's love cannot be compensated. But still, you can love her. Give her, give reciprocate her love. Give back the love that she gives. And it's not needed now. At a certain point of time in her life, she badly needs your attention, your care and love. And at that time, you should be there as a son, as a daughter. Give back the love that she had given you immensely in plenty.